Yo, my boy Ito is back. So once again, I am sick. So I do apologize if, you know, I do just randomly start coughing. It is what it is. But I'll try and cut out as much as possible, of course. All right, we're at the restaurant. Oh, I see a Yanfei. Huh? Look, over there by the hot pot stand. We know them. No, we don't. <laughs> Hello, Shinobu. Huh? Huh? Traveler, Paimon, you're here too? That we are indeed. Um, these are some hey, long Shibu. pauses. Here for some hot pot, huh? What's the occasion? Has Wang Ming restaurant gone downhill or something? Yo, what's with that out of pocket comment? <laughs> Jesus traveler. <laughs> Was Zhang Ling's cooking too hot to handle? No, it's nothing like that. Wang Ming restaurants just closed for a couple of days. Does Yanfei sound kind of different? She sounds different from what I can remember. But it's nice to try somewhere different for a change. Su Arnyang's hot pot is mm. pretty good. And you can't get it at Wanmin restaurant. I don't know. It's been a while since I've heard Yanfei. Wanmin's close? Why? What happened? Zhang Ling's cooking in the wild again. Well, it was partly our fault. Oh, was it the gang? Was it Ito? Recently, some old classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch and said they were organizing a get-together. Sounds, uh, sounds good. Yanfei's the most senior among us, since she's the most qualified, so she got to pick the location. And she booked Wanmin Restaurant. Okay. The turnout was a lot higher than expected. And in the space of two days, we somehow got through all of the restaurant stock for the week ahead. Damn. <sighs> Boss's enormous appetite was also <laughs> a significant contributing factor. He went a little crazy. Yo, I can't wait to see Ito again. I always find Ito very enjoyable. Chef Mao was pretty wiped out by the end, but he had a huge smile on his face. It was the best business he's had in months. Man got the money. The only thing is, it'll take him at least a couple days to fully restock. Ito? Bull checkers here too? God damn it. Oh, I'm surprised we haven't seen him. Those horns stick out like two sore thumbs. Uh, looks like the bull chucker comments are back. <laughs> Possibly still one of the worst sounding nicknames that Paimon has given out. Yeah, when he heard I was meeting up with some old classmates, he got very excited and decided he was coming with me. His logic was, and I quote, any classmate of Shinobu's is a classmate of mine. That sounds like Ito, all right. Have we seen Ito in Leeway? Oh yeah, we have. We saw him in the chasm, which isn't technically Leeway, but so yeah, first time in Leeway. Maybe. Notwithstanding the fact that Boss has never studied a day in his life, <laughs> I think he just feels that he didn't get enough chances to indulge his taste buds last time he was in Leeway. Fair enough. There was a lot going down last time. That other kid you guys brought with you, though. What was his name again? Oh, yeah. Grandmaster Hanakado. He seems like a smart cookie. Who? <laughs> you probably didn't notice because you were busy chatting to your classmates at the time. But he was helping Chef Mao out in the kitchen, uh, trying to pick up some uh, Liyue cooking skills. I respect the grind. I suspect he just wanted to learn how to make some new dishes to feed to his own Ikabuto and make them stronger. Oh, okay, I remember. It's the kid from the last uh, Beetle event. Okay, tell me a second there. Master Hanakado? Uh, where do we know that name from? Oh, yeah! Didn't we meet him during that Beetle battle thing? Bullchucker organized that one time? That is correct, Paimon. <clears throat> I'm gonna butcher this. The almighty Aritaki extraordinary and an exhilarating extreme beetle brawl. That's right. Good memory, Paimon. After the near catastrophe that was the beetle brawl, Hanakado became an ally of the Arataki gang. I mean, it wasn't that bad. He and Boss regularly hang out to have practice matches and discuss Onikabuto rearing strategies. Fair enough. But to his credit, a lot of the things he ropes Boss into doing in the name of Beetle Brawling actually result in Boss doing some real work for a change. Aye. It's made things a lot easier for me. Ito is starting to learn about the world more. <laughs> for instance, they've decided to spend a few days helping Chef Mao restock the kitchen. Partly to thank him for the epic feast. And partly Paris. because they would like to use the opportunity to look for new ingredients to boost their Onikabuto's performance. So is that the best way to train Ito? Just say it's for the Beatles and there you go. You've got him to do everything. I think they're out looking for crabs at Guyun Stone <laughs> Forest right now with Miss Shangling and Mr. Guoba. They all seem to get along great. Guoba's already made friends with Guoba. Prince and Staff, as Ito calls it. And uh, something something 
Beetle King, or whatever Hanakados is called. Yeah, you just gotta roll with it with Ito. They've been out for quite a while, though. Shouldn't they be back by now? Oh, you know what? I would love for Ito to meet an Adeptus. That would be so entertaining. Unless something put them in a playful mood. In which case, it's anyone's guess what kind of mess they might be in by now. Oh, well, it's the gang, so I'm expecting it. Well, now Paimon wants to join in the fun! Yeah, because you're a gremlin. Crabs from Glee and Stone Forest? Mmm, Paimon bets they taste great! Yeah, but it's always food with you. Why don't we go see if they need our help? The sooner Wanmi Restaurant is fully stocked, the sooner we get to eat there again! Alright, come on. And while we're at it, we can see what Bullchucker and Grandmaster Hanakado are really up to over there. Well, if we are serious about eating at the Wanming restaurant, gathering and ingredients will go faster with more hands. So you two are gonna head over? Sure thing. I think that's a great idea. The Traveler, Paimon, and Ito make a good team. <laughs> Not everyone can get through to him, but he usually listens to you two. Yeah, usually. <laughs> I like to go along with his antics, though. You make a good point. Well, thanks for checking up on them, you two. Alright. Easy enough. <sighs> I'm suddenly feeling a bit warm. Maybe I've been eating too much spicy food lately. Oh, Shinobu's also sick. <laughs> oh no, you poor thing. It could be a fever. Or maybe the humidity's making you overheat. Wait here. I'll go get you some iced tea. I feel you on that one, Shinobu. I feel off. <coughs> I feel awful. Yo, bro, what are they doing all the way over here? Alright, where are they? Ah, oh. oh, I see it now yo globo woo that's my boy a hard shell a whole bunch of legs looks like a born warrior the crab is the onikabuto of the sea throw one of these bad boys in the ring and your onikabuto will have to seriously up its game there he is that's right oni king technically the crab belongs to a different species but it has all the qualities of the perfect warrior beetle of course. Pitting Onikabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. Uh-huh, totally. Then it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever before. Of course she's in no on it. No rest until they flipped every crab in the area onto its back. Cool. And once they're done, we'll just need to stoop down and scoop them up. No more chasing crabs all over the beach. Smart, I respect it. La, 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 la. Oh, he's so adorable. Look at him. Looks like Xiang Ling and Guoba are part of the gang now. Yo, sign me up, boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> Traveler Paimon! Fancy meeting you here. Are you guys out for a walk or something? Yeah, we walked here from Liwei, you know? We just swam across the ocean, but that's technically walking, right? <laughs> hey, Xiang Ling! Hey, Guoba! What's up, Guoba? Well, we were going to gorge ourselves at one mean restaurant, but then we ran into Yanfei and Shinobu, who told you were close for a few days. So we figured we'd come find you guys and see if you needed any help. Aw, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being such loyal customers. It's so kind of you to help. Yeah, well, we have to find somewhere to feed Paimon's endless stomach. With Mr. Ito and the Grandmaster helping me for the last couple of days, we've actually got most of the things we need now. All that's left for us to get are some fresh crabs. Yep, well, that's one ingredient that I need. I have, like, two of them at the minute. And Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King will be able to round them up for us in no time. If everything goes to plan. Oh, that's a big boy. Uh-oh. I may have spoken too soon. Setting off all the red flags. Sorry, compared to every other enemy that's come out now, I don't find these guys as annoying as I used to. Nah, Ito can body him. Hold on, stay calm. I'll assess the situation. Nah, uh, they. Uh, pro assessing the situation, Ito. Well done. Hmm. Hard shell? Check. Legs? Not too many. But it more than makes up for that with the whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train your own Ikabuto against. I'd. Yeah, well, I don't think it's going to be doing any damage, though, right? <laughs> How right you are, Oni King! With a training partner like this, an Oni Kabuto is sure to reach the apex of its abilities. I feel bad for that beetle, man. What? Are they serious right now? Typical. Wait, I think I recognize that thing. Huh? It's always rolling around on a nearby island. 
It's made quite a reputation for itself as far as Guyun Jiu bishops go. People have taken to calling it Crystal Tornado. Okay, so let's kill it. <laughs> Why Tornado? It's because if you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's ah. really aggressive. Brain damage. Cool. How did you come to learn that? First and experience. Oni King, allow me to send in the troops. I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. Of course. Go, Ironclad Beetle King. Test your challenger to its limits. Thank you for your service. <laughs> hey, look, man, they're trying the best. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> uh, Ironclad Beetle King. Oh, uh, well, there you go. <gasps> One hit and it's all over? I don't believe it. That, 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 that's not possible. Who would have guessed this outcome? Okay, listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher <laughs> than it looks. Time to show it what we're really made of. Where's the other one? From what I've seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks. Uh -huh. If you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat. Luckily for us, our Oni Kabuto have a little thing called agility on their side. Bro, it just slammed the ground and it fell over. I don't think agility is going to do anything for it. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... Well, that, that ain't going to work, my guy. Yep. <laughs> Woo! Great fight. Uh, belly. Oni King, shall I send in some more Oni Kabuto or? Yeah, I'm sure that'll change the outcome. Uh, I, I will. Well, um, what? <laughs> Gorba, woo! Wait, what's Gorba doing? No! Nah, Gorba, Gorba, Gorba can handle him. <laughs> Let him cook. Le, 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 le. Le, le, le. Oh, is this friendship? Oh. Well. Wait! The bishop can understand Guoba? Huh. It just up and left. Oh, there's Guoba for you, man. Ma Guoba's the real main character. So, to answer your question from a moment ago, Paimon. I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time we came to gather crabs in Guyu Stone Forest. No. Tornado gave Goba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. Alright, we're killing the fella. But then Tornado fell unconscious, and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. Yo, there you go. Don't mess with Goba. Goba tanked that. <laughs> Man. What a cool guy! I mean, I figured he was a pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but... He is. I've never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. I did his little Guoba talk. There's only one possible conclusion. This is a warrior with strength, the likes of which I've never seen before. I mean, Guoba is a god, so... Isn't wrong? I must say, I concur. I don't know how, but Guoba-san simply commanded that hard-shelled beast to stand down and retreat at once. Yeah, Guoba-san. Come to think of it, he seems like a pro at catching crabs, too. Hmm. Guoba-san clearly has some sort of power that lets him bend the minds of shelled organisms to his will. I think he's just a friendly dude. <laughs> oh, that's it! The truth has been hiding in plain sight all this time. Hmm? Guoba-san is a virtuoso beetle battler. With his skills, he can direct an Oni Kabuto's each and every move. Sure. <laughs> Go with it, Guoba. Huh? Of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> These are the kind of brainwaves <laughs> that make you the Arataki Gang's greatest ally. Hey, if that's what makes the most sense to you guys, sure. See, if we can get Guobasan to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle fighting world will be our oyster! The traveler is having none of it. <gasps> Sorry about this, Guoba. Can we stop discussing what special powers Guoba may or may not have? We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then this whole trip will have been a waste. Bummer. Right! Checker, Shinobu's waiting for you! Also, we want to eat? Drop the nickname, Paimon. Huh? Wait, wait, when did we get two new people? Oh. 
What's up? Oh, compadre! <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't the Yoni King's right hand. Oh, and of course, the flying lavender. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. There you go. I forgot about that new nickname. Wait. Oh, man. Don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Oh, so humiliating. Terrible, I know. It's all good. Nothing we haven't seen before. Oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Only Kabuto don't stand a chance against the Geo Bishop Hatchling. Whoa, Paimon. Just give it a couple of whacks with your club. You don't know the powers of the beetle, Paimon, all right? Get with it. But that would defeat the whole purpose. Uh, let me explain. Now, it's no secret that you've kicked a fair share of butt in your time. And from what I hear, that includes some of the biggest, most powerful, and meanest butt around. You're not wrong. So how'd you do it, huh? Were you born stronger than your most fearsome foe? No! Do you rock up to every fight believing that your odds of winning are 100%? Of course not! Yes, because I've got a team that can handle any type of content. <laughs> You start with an impossible goal, defeating the unbeatable enemy. And then you do whatever you gotta do to achieve it. Because even you can't know how much potential you have until you push yourself past your limits. That's how you make yourself not just stronger, but stronger than you ever imagined you could be. You know, Ito would really love power fantasy anime. Man would be binge watching every episode. Flee the fight once, you'll probably flee the next time. And the time after that, next thing you know, you're that boring little twerp who never had the guts to put himself out there. Because when you flee the fight, all you're really running away from is the person you could have become. Damn, man. I'm speechless. Nothing to add. He, he, he cooked hard with it. Uh, what's gotten into Bullchucker? He actually said something that made sense. For once, Paimon has nothing to argue back. But let's not ignore that the fact that running away can actually be a very good idea, but it is what it is. <sighs> Someone's belly? No, that was Gwoba. What are you want about? You hear that? Gwoba's getting hungry. Crystal Tornado's gone now anyway, and your Oni Kabuto won't be ready to fight again anytime soon. So, are you just gonna stand here gawking, or...? Chef Sama makes a good point. We are still far from being worthy enough to seek the tutelage of the mighty sensei, Guoba-san. Please, just drop the Sama and San, please. Man. At least Guoba's here. He can, he can nullify the cringe. I have heard tell of a great contest of fine warriors that was once held in this place. Oh, yeah, I remember we that. We stand on hollowed ground, and the very air we breathe is abuzz with the might of great duelists. Yeah, this is where an event took place, if I remember correctly. Was it Beidou's fight club thing to board her ship? I say we set up a ring here and now. I shall summon the mightiest beetle battlers of Liyue, and as iron sharpens iron, we will hone our skills and training with them. Then, and only then, will we be ready to seek the guidance of Kuoba-san. A little problem there, mate. I don't think there's any beetles in uh, Liyue. <laughs> You only can find those in Inazuma, so hit a bit of a wall there, haven't you? Once we have learned his ways, we will track down that shelled beast and do battle against it once more. Alright, I guess we know who the final boss is. Paimon's got a... well, a feeling about this, but not actually sure if it's a good one or a bad one. With the power of friendship, we can handle it. Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh! oh. oh I'm with you, Grandmaster. Yeah, you're saying the time has come. To unveil the plan. The plan? Is it to bring Raiden Shogun here? Oh damn, I should have known. It all makes sense now. This is the moment. It's time for the long-awaited Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. Damn, are okay. That's right. There's no time to lose, Oni King. Let's set up the arena. Oh. And there they go. Hey! Look at them, not a care in the world. I always have time for Ito's number one passion. What did they say it was called again? The Arataki something something? Yeah. Anyway, some Close kind enough. of beetle fighting tournament, right? I think Hanakato might have mentioned it before. Yeah, the Arataki Beetle Battle Tournament. There you go. That's all you need to remember. If I wasn't so busy with work at the restaurant, I'd love to take Woba along and watch. We can bring the restaurant to the arena. And that'll bring more people to go and eat there and see the tournament. Boom. 
Got it sorted. I'm a genius. For right now, the top priority is dealing with all these fresh crabs. Come on, let's head back. All right. Shinobu was saying the Arataki gang came to Liyue for her classmates' reunion, right? Won't throwing an impromptu beetle fighting competition interfere with their plans? Nah, I'm sure it's fine. <sighs> well, not much we can do about it except to head back to Wanmin and tell Shinobu. All right. Yenbei, Shinobu, we're back! What's up, gang? Guoba, Shangling, Traveler, and Paimon. Uh, wait, where are the other two? Up to their usual antics. <sighs> Let me guess. Ito and Hanakato <laughs> are up to their usual antics. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we'll fill you in shortly. First, I need to get all these oh, pristine ingredients safely stored away. The Miss Flower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer. Plus, the Traveler and Paimon are valued customers, eagerly awaiting a grand feast. I'll get cooking. <laughs> then we can catch up while we eat. All right. Zhang Li and Guoba whip up a meal from the ingredients collected from the ingredients collected on their trip. It's not long before an exceptional meal is served. By now, Yanfei and Shinobu are hungry too. The feasting begins. As you dine, you tell Shinobu and Yanfei about Ito and Hana Kado's running with the Crystal Tornado and the plan to hold a beetle fighting boot camp. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? You got it. <sighs> that doesn't bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. It'll, it'll be fine. We're guests here, which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Leave them to me. I'll put a stop to it. Will you, though? Also, I see you, you degenerate woman. Mm, I don't know. I think it could be fun. <laughs> anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. It's I. <laughs> According to the Comprehensive Compendium of Liyue La, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. We can get Yanfei to handle that, right? <laughs> you never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have even more people to hang out with when you next come to Liyue. <laughs> yeah, can we get Big Up Zhang Lei to come and fight? <laughs> yeah, and you can bring them all to Wanmin Restaurant for your meals. <sighs> See, Guoba's got it. Wait, first the event, and now you're already planning our next trip? Hey, smart. <laughs> uh, given the Arataki gang's financial situation... Free of charge. Ah, oh, come on. You gotta learn to cut loose more. You came all this way. You should be focused on catching up with old friends, making some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. And honestly, we can pay for it. We've got so much money. I need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for something else anyway, so I can get the <clears throat> ball rolling for Ito's thing while I'm there. Buzzing. All right. I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later, and bring the permit with me. Sounds like a plan. And there she goes. Yanfei is in a good mood today. She didn't take <laughs> any persuading to help out with the event. I mean, it beats doing other type of paperwork, doesn't it? Well, event planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the Masterful Chefs Contest, and she has a lot of contacts because of her work. That was a previous event, right? I think so. She's also on vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in the mood to have some fun. True. Well, I've missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. <laughs> Guess I've got no choice but to deal with Boss directly now. As always. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for all your help so far. I promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. It's all good. Uh, you mean you don't need us to come with you? I want to be with my boy, no. Well, Curious about defeating that Geovicious hatchling with Oni Kabuto, Paimon's kind of curious to see how everything goes down. Yeah, we want to join the competition too. Now that you mention it, didn't you help boss out a lot at the last one of these? Yep. The Almighty Arataki Extraordinary and Exhilarating Extreme Beetle Brawl? That's the one. Oh, we didn't really help out. We just played a few matches. But it was actually super fun. Either way, it sounds like you understand Boss's perspective far better than I do, so maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. Nah. I'll take all the help I can get. We're just gonna egg him on, to be honest, but... Sure, or, uh, you know, maybe we could just let him go ahead with it, huh? There you go. See, Paimon's on the same page. Guoba! We 
We've already beaten our expected turnover for this month, and it'll still be a while before Dad gets back with the rest of the new stock. So we should be able to take it easy for a while. After that, we should be back to business as usual. Things won't be anywhere near as busy as they've been the last few days. That means we should have time to go and watch Mr. Ito's beetle fighting event. Yeah, there you go, and you can cook there. God, I love Guava so much. All right, boss. Fun time in Liyue is over. Let's head home. Nah. Shinobu, I, I, I can explain. <laughs> oh no, Mum found out. <laughs> no, you can't. Our funds have run out. We've spent too long here. After buying our tickets for the boat home, the gang fund is down to double digits. How can we possibly afford to hold a tournament? Damn, only double digits? Hey man, I don't mind lending you all like a million mara. You know, it's not that difficult. <laughs> Yenfei Senpai very kindly offered to handle the legalities, otherwise, you wouldn't even have a permit. Are you expecting her to foot the bill as well? Put a stop to this now, before things get out of control. How kind of Yenfei Senpai? But, but, you don't understand. We have a situation here. Normally, I'm happy to do things your way, but the Arataki Gang's two top Onikabuto warriors just lost to some pet rock. I oh, know, terrible. What a terrible situation. Look, we have a whole arena set up and everything. If we back out now, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. I mean, it is impressive they can set up something this fast. You gotta you got give it to them. You've lost plenty of beetle fights before. Even I can beat you, and I'm not even a serious player. Whoa. Why are you so bothered about losing to some bishop hatchling? Hey, this is about creature on creature, all right? It's totally different. <laughs> Shinobu! That was a low blow. Anyway, that's ancient history. I'm on a whole different level now. Sure. There isn't a single beetle fighter out there who can touch me. I'm serious about beating that pet rock. Don't think I've got what it takes? <laughs> and try me. Well, this can only go a long way. Gladly. You want to do this the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. Ooh, boy. Grandmaster Hanakato, get me and boss a beetle each. Maybe he'll be more amenable to reason after a crushing defeat. See, she enjoys it. She plays into the antics. If I win, you have to come back with me. No complaining, and no making any more trouble for Yenfei Senpai. Hey, Ito, tag me in. I've got you. Uh, Shinobu, Oni King, I... You're really doing this, huh? <laughs> I, uh, didn't think you'd take it this far. Tag me in. Tag me in. Okay, uh, <laughs> so... Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon, I delegate this challenge to you. You're making Paimon fight me? <laughs> <laughs> no surprises there. Uh, it was so predictable. Uh, what Bull Checker is really saying is, if you want to fight the Oni King, you have to go through Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon first. You gotta assist Paimon. Exact mundo, amigo. Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon is one of the Arataki Gang's top beetle fighters, but even she isn't in the same league as moi. So Shinobu, if you want to duel with the Don, you gotta beat the Milan. <laughs> Man is spitting some bars. Except, Paimon refuses. Oh, plot twist. What? <laughs> Even Paimon knows that you can't just expect other people to pick up your slack all the time. It's not right. So if you're out of Mora, then tough luck. You gotta watch your sending. Says you. I'm the one paying for everything. You out, that'll just make more trouble for Yanfei, and then Shinobu will owe her a favor. Okay, true, you make a fair point. <laughs> but it's all good. I have a backup plan for situations like this. You got a secret slash of money? If we really are out of funds, then uh, I'll find a job. I'll work nights, do beetle fighting during the day. What? Any expenses out of my own pocket. Ito with a job? That is gonna go so wrong. It'll work. The Grandmaster has helped me find a few good gigs before. As long as it's physical work and the pay is good, I'll take it. True. I mean, if... Look, they can build stuff like this. They're fine. Now you're talking! See, that's the kind of attitude Paimon can get behind. Yeah, when you're the top dog, you gotta watch the bottom line. <sighs> I can't believe you guys. Hey, he's getting, he's getting experience. Your plan is all well and good, and I do hope you try not to be a burden on other people. You still need to beat me first. I know what boss is trying to do. He's making me fight Paimon first to use up my Onikabuto stamina. 
<laughs> Smart. Well, good luck with that. Even with a disadvantage, I'm still not gonna make this easy for you. Alright. Hey, look. It's obvious that she still wants to play, alright? Beetle Battle Boot Camp is about to begin. Blah, blah, blah. Right, I forgot how to play. Uh, why did it have to be Q? Yeah, that. Okay, I remember. Ah, you we got a shield now. Ah, so it's like a stamina as well. Okay. After a fierce battle, Shinobu's Onikabuto narrowly loses to the Crimson Staff under Paimon's direction. I lost. I can't believe it. <laughs> Impossible. That, that was so tense. Shinobu nearly got the better of Paimon there. What a dazzling duel. Hey, hey! <laughs> 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 Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon destroys Shinobu on the first attempt. Oh! <laughs> you really are natural at this, aren't you? I forgot that it's technically Paimon that's playing and not us. As agreed, we now have Shinobu's official support to host the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. You guys need to work on the name, man. <sighs> I haven't battled in ages. Guess I'm out of practice. Hey, you seem to care about this a lot, Shinobu. <laughs> Does seem like you care about the beetle battle. I'll have to move to plan B. Try to keep costs to a minimum, and make sure Yenpei-senpai doesn't end up doing everything for us. I'm gonna hold you to your word, boss. Fund this event yourself by working nights. <laughs> battle beetles all you want during the day. There you go. And one other thing. Our boat tickets home were booked well in advance. I can amend the date, but only by a few days. So, keep this event to maybe four or five other people tops, or you'll run out of time, okay? I don't want you getting carried away. A very cultured angle. Got it. Sure, promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> Shinobu, you've got nothing to worry about. Okay, you've got about 9% to worry about. Okay, I'll head down to the harbor and see about changing the tickets. I'm warning you, you'd better not go spending all our mora while I'm gone. No promises. Okay, so we've only got five battles to get in shape enough for Guobasan. Then we gotta master what he teaches us, then take down that cocky pet rock. Guoba's about to put us off for a training arc. Shinobu is asking us to do the impossible here. Hey, you gotta believe, man. You gotta believe. But this is the kind of hardcore challenge I live for. <laughs> Don't worry, Odie King. I'll find people to join us in our great training endeavor. So long as there are worthy beetle battlers to be found, I'll be sure to sense their presence and bring them over to our camp. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> All right. We haven't been in Liyue for long, but I'm certain that this vast land is filled with mighty warriors. <laughs> we'll have no trouble finding but one of these each day. Hey, man, sorry to, like, stump you here, but there's no Beatles in Liyue, man. <laughs> Unless they've been shipped over here and you, now you've got, like, a new invasive species. Who knows? For the esteemed Oni King's right hand and honorable sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Yeah. <laughs> We've done our part. We saved your butts by getting Shinobu to agree to this. Paimon saw the look of sheer terror on your faces. You're clearly no match for her. Yeah, surely the Arataki gang gives credit where credit is due. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I, I will uh, uh, leave it to me. I'll come up with something. You'll get your reward, don't you worry. Yeah, give me those primo gems. We'll be on the same page then. In the meantime, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving white iron lavender melon don't have other plans, then prepare to watch history in the making. I'm sure we will, Ito. I'm sure we will. Because in a few short days, I, the bona fide Beetle Battle King, will raise my game to new heights, win the respect of Guobasan, and become a living legend! Booyah! There you go, mate. Cool! Yeah, we'll be watching. So, uh, <laughs> no pressure or anything, but... Okay, what's going on with Paimon's voice? <laughs> Why are we all echoey? Paimon's not thinking in her head at the minute. If you mess this up and everyone completely wipes the floor with you, we'll see the whole thing. Unless she did say that in her head, but I'm pretty sure her mouth was also moving, so I don't know. All right, let's beat him up. Hello, all. Hmm. I am Iron Tongue Tien, here with an official signboard for the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Whoa. Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. Listen to the next breakdown. 
Is that his other nickname? Whoa! Is this supposed to be Bull Chucker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Oh, well, that suits him pretty well then, doesn't it? Oh, oh it's kind of sick though. Sadly, it's not my own original artwork, but check out that design and that line work. Pretty neat. It's so cool. <laughs> it's epic. It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat of battle. Uh huh. Dude, wait, not that. Uh, <laughs> how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Sir? Sir is normally like a good go to, you know? Uh, maybe. Esquire? <laughs> no. Ah, that's the one. TN really? Esquire, your artwork is incredible. Words cannot express I mean, the art enough, of I guess. gang's gratitude. Esquire. You can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also, I'm no artist, just a storyteller. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Mm. Yenfei looks out for her a lot. So when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Is this someone we know? Oh, so this is Yen Fei's doing. Oh. Man, she really thought of everything. This is exactly what we needed. The Young dude. Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. You a sure thing, I guess. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself. But I've heard a lot about it, and have always wanted to try it out for myself. Gonna create a whole spa about this. <laughs> Who knows, it might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. Could be. Beetle fighting is something you have to have a natural affinity for. We don't. <laughs> Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. She's great at using those below her. She's using the Traveler. Ooh. Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. Dude, oh, that'd be awesome. The dudes come out again. All right, Squirt. Uh, squat. Yeah, yeah, Squire. Yeah, Squire. <laughs> uh, may, may the best man win. Come on, Squirt. <laughs> now nah, we could do a focus fight. We're not cowards. It's been it's been a few days, so I've already forgotten what I'm doing. Now nah, we're good. Get out of here. <laughs> Easy. Get out of here. Perfect. This level of intensity is just perfect for such a contest. Ah, wonderful. Thank you. That was very easy. Hmm. I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive high adrenaline sport. Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here to be told time and again. Yeah, I could really feel my adrenaline running through from that match. Great dueling with you, TN Esquire. The pleasure was all right. The phrase is, the pleasure is all mine, Oni King. He's trying his best, mate. <laughs> Details, schmeetails. Point is, thank you for supporting our boot camp. Mm -hmm. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh, please, pay no regard. Uh, just pretend I'm not here. Uh -huh. Man, I've never fought against someone so cultured before. <laughs> My mind's buzzing from all those fancy words. What's that buzzy feeling called again? Oh, yeah! Learning! <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's always a pleasure to have Ito around. <laughs> He's great. Looks like the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp is getting off to a good start. We're all learning. <laughs> Onikabuto are our friends. Like cats and doggies. Just except we put them against uh, others and we watch them fight for our own pure entertainment. Yeah, sure. Another kid? Oh, didn't we go through this last time? Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakado's a kid too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. Yeah, because you're born with a natural talent. <laughs> Although... Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience. Her chosen Oni Kabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. Ah, oh, you got the lucky five-star drop. Fair enough. I don't know what you guys are talking about. 
My only Kabuto was a Stop present look, from dude. Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. Pay to win. Ho oh, ho! Your father sounds like a real stand-up guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. Yeah, <laughs> calling her a kid. Man, the J Chamber looks so good. <gasps> you make it sound like Paimon's the weakest choice on our side. I think he's just saying you look like a kid, mate. Still, Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because you two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. Fair enough. Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we won't try hard. Let's begin. Oosh. 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 Easy. Get out of here. You're not suited. Pathetic. Whew. Paimon nearly messed that up. Bro, we took no damage. What are you on about? Uh, oh, I nearly died of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. Yeah, sure, guys. How'd you get so freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? So this is how Onikabuto play together? I get it now. <laughs> All right, there you go. You got a new challenger. Uh, do you have time to play some more? And I also want to watch you guys play too. Yeah, we're playing Yanfei next, so uh, gotta wait. Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this. Oh, kind of terrifying. Hey, Bullchucker, if you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shelled creatures just by listening to Guoba talk to Crystal Tornado. I don't think that's how it works. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I wish. Wow, man. Paimon going for the heart. Contestant with super OP gear. <laughs> okay. Hey there, I'm back. So then, how's the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp coming along? This camp seems to be doing quite well. Great timing, Yanfei. My savior! Oh, thanks for helping out with the permit. Oh, and for the sign with the epic artwork. Yeah. Wait, I know that look. Are you, uh, looking to flip some beetle too? Ugh, why does that sound so wrong? <laughs> Please never say that again. Hey, you're looking to flip some beetle too? <laughs> Something wrong with that? <laughs> I have a big client who does a lot of cross-border commerce. Anyway, she showered me with gifts once after I helped her win a huge lawsuit. And among them was a very special Onikabuto. Man, what's with everyone with these connections? You gotta go into the wild to pick these up, alright? Can't keep getting gifted. It's an insult to the spot. I didn't know how to look after it at the time, so I got Granny to look after it for a while. Ah. It's looking pretty buff these days. <laughs> Madam Ping was the teacher. Oh, no. <laughs> Mind if I join in? You're not worried I'll cramp your style, are you? Oh. We ought not dismiss your savior, Oni King. What she lacks in experience, she makes up for with one of the sturdiest built and most awe-inspiring Onikabuto I have ever seen. You make me an offer I can't refuse. Ooh. All right, time to send in the Oni King's right hand with Crimson Staff. I know my compadre will stay cool under pressure. You betcha. I got so this. So it's me versus the Traveler? All right. Easy match. I haven't quite got the hang of this game yet. So apologies in advance for any blunders. It's all good. Oh, damn, that is built. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, okay. <laughs> Damn it, I thought I could hit it. Oh, so it can beat me in a fight. I mean, it is build different, so fair enough. I thought I could challenge it. <laughs> oh, it seems like there's quite a lot to beetle battles. Yeah. Did half yeah, my damage, though, so. Kabuto is so strong! What has Madam Ping been feeding that thing? Hey, that's what, that's what grandparents do, man. <laughs> they just keep feeding you. <laughs> See? Your savior's only Kabuto is a force to be reckoned with. But just like last time, when my generals threw you a few curveballs, the mightiest blade cannot slay its foe except in the hands of a skilled swordmaster. Sure. W w w wise words, <laughs> Grandmaster. Yeah. Oh, okay. Deep breaths. <laughs> Good thing my compadre kept it together. Wow, what a blast. I could get into this whole beetle battling thing. Hey, Ito, this is like the best chance to make some big money. <laughs> get Shinobu to help with like setting up 
potentially like a huge arena. That's how you make all your money. <sighs> this is so much fun. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to stick around and play some more. There you go. Better than doing legal battles. <laughs> no frills, instant kill. No, 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 no. This, this makes no sense. How, how did you do that? My, my reputation is destroyed. <laughs> Bro. It's like a bean to the heart. <laughs> it's been two seconds. What happened? It was an honor doing battle with you, good sir. God damn it, Ito. What the? So polite. <laughs> That's the worst ones. <laughs> yeah, GG, man. Great fight. You played well. <laughs> so, been busy losing while we were away, Bulljucker? I don't see it that way. Unless the bona fide Beetle Battle King is ready to give up now, he hasn't lost to me yet. Mm -hmm. In battle and in life, it's normal to hit setbacks every once in a while. But a setback only turns into a failure if you make the decision to stop trying. Those are some smart words, Lan. Word! Heck yeah! I ain't about to admit defeat yet! Still, there's nothing to be gained from constantly making excuses. Don't put all your energy into talking garbage. Spend it on fighting a little harder instead. Hey, she's talking the truth. Oh, burn. <laughs> Oni King, this brand of enemy doesn't seem to be your area of expertise. Shut up. I advise you send in another of your generals and observe the duel in detail. Watching others do battle is also a crucial part of a warrior's training. Some skills one learns by doing, others one learns through observation. You know, he isn't lying, that is true. Ah, good point, Grandmaster. And good timing, compadre. Oni King's right hand, I'm handing the fight over to you. Like always. I mean, we had our turn with Yanfei, but oh no, I'm scared. So I'm going head to head with the legendary traveler. So guess I better look sharp. All right. Get out of here. All right, you're screwed now. Oh, no. Get out of here. You're amazing. Thanks for showing me how it's done. Easy. Nicely done. You beat me. That I did. I'd go as far as to say that it's an honor to lose against the Traveler. Mm-hmm. Ah, so that's how you do it. I never would have thought of that. Yeah, just keep spamming the attack. <laughs> yep, when you're up against a cunning enemy, you gotta get creative. Yeah, you just gotta keep attacking. <laughs> when your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. I have not changed my tactics since the first fight. <laughs> Methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. Yeah, totally, totally. I think Shinobu said something like that once, too. I guess there's something to it after all. Listening to smart people would be good. Who would have guessed? But I'll mull it over some other time. Right now, my focus is on the task at hand. More beetle fighting. All right. Yo, Globa. Hey, good to see everyone. How's it going? Having fun? Best boy, Globa. Shangling Guava, you finally made it. Well, Bullchucker's certainly having a blast. <laughs> yeah. The day has finally come. Oh, we're beating up the uh, tornado, dude. Whoa, son! I've been training hard at the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp, and now I want to show you just how far I've come. Uh, and Crimson Staff too. <laughs> Guava has no idea what's going on. If my progress satisfies you, then please teach me. Show me the way to communicate with Crimson Staff, Crystal Tornado, and all the shelled organisms of this world. And that's its name, Crystal Tornado. Do that, and I swear, once I become the reigning champion of the beetle fighting world, I will build a mighty statue in your image at the Arataki Gang's beetle fighting headquarters. Yo, that would be pretty hype, I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's got his own. He's got battle scars. What the? Guobasan got a brand new Oni Kabuto. Whoa. That does not look normal. Yo, we f wait, are we fighting Guoba now? Oh, it appears to be not a typical Oni Kabuto shell, but one built of resilient wood. Is it wearing a suit of armor? Is this within the rules? <laughs> we told Granny all about your Oni Kabuto boot camp. It really piqued her interest when she heard that Guoba was getting a disciple. <laughs> Uh, As it turned out, a friend of hers had made a whole bunch of gardening and landscaping machines to look after the silk flowers on the terrace. They're called bloom pruners, 
All right. The bloom pruner can transform into the shape of any creature to blend into its environment. Squirrels, Interesting. Butterflies, finches, you name it. And of course, Onikabuto too. Bloom pruners. Wonder if we'll ever see like its original form on what they look like then. So Master gave Globa a bloom pruner and got it to take the form of an Onikabuto so it can battle against you. Is this within the rules? I feel like the, this is like a bit of a gray area. That's pretty high tech for a gardening appliance. Yeah. Uh, Xiaoling's master is Madame Ping, so Madame Ping's friend. <gasps> Aha! Of course. I'm guessing it's going to be Cloud Retainer. Remind me again, who is it? No machine can compare to a real oh, yeah. live Oni Kabuto warrior. Did Guobasan pick a dumbed down enemy on purpose so we can showcase all our awesome skills? Like, technically, it's not natural, so, you know, you, we got to put in some rules here. You may be wise to temper your optimism, Oni King. My beetle senses are failing to detect this Oni Kabuto's might. Or perhaps. It's too profound for me to fathom. It's because it's a machine, mate. <laughs> it's not an actual, natural beetle. Eh, it's not even alive. There's nothing for you to sense. Uh, anyway, Guobasan may possess limitless power, but a warrior needs to be one with his weapon. The bond between Oni Kabuto and Trainer is forged through blood, sweat, and tears. Not wood, mesh, and gears. <laughs> Crimson Staff and I are like glove and fist. Yeah, but this is Guobo we're talking about. He's built different. Let's get this duel going. It's time for guobo -san to witness my true potential once and for all. All right, Ito, take it away, mate. All right, we can handle this. We don't need to look at his abilities. Oh, that is massive. Get out of here, Guobo. Get out of here, Globa. Wait, what? Ah. Easy, man. Globa was... Come on, Globa. You're better than that. Bye, bye. Oh, I forgot how Globa sounds. Whoa, Bull Checker sure made short work of the Bloom Pruner. Come on, Globa. I was expecting more. I won! Victory is mine! With my trusty crimson staff, I have defeated the mighty Guobasan. Mm. Alrighty then. <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. <clears throat> Guobasan, if I have earned your recognition, I humbly ask you to teach me the ways of shelled organism communication. I don't, I don't think you can teach him. He can't even speak. <laughs> huh? Guobasan, you look pleased? But you just lost to me in battle. The student has become the master. Does this mean you're proud of me for my swift progress? So dumb. Aw, oh, shucks. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> you're too kind, Guobasan. Oh, you're just being modest. I know you were going easy on me. I mean, he does have a third difficulty, so I'll see what that's like after. It looks like Guobas all warmed up now. The bloom pruner is ready to operate at full power. Oh. Woba, remember the plan? In this round, we want to increase the Bloom Pruner's power output from a tenth of a percent to one percent, okay? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it was only a tenth of a percent? Any higher and you'll risk knocking Ito's Oni Kabuto out cold. Any more and it would kill the poor thing. <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> I knew something was up. Ah, uh, a tenth of a percent, that is mad. As I feared. We have barely scratched the surface. Yeah, guys, just pack it in. Wait, hold on a minute. <laughs> a tenth of one percent? <laughs> as in 0.1 percent? As in one one thousandth? Yeah, Ito, you're never going to win. Uh, you've got you, you've to be kidding me. <laughs> All that was just one one thousandth of its top power? Yeah, we probably shouldn't have uh, revealed that information. <laughs> Guoba's a little confused. You did say you wanted to train your Oni Kabuto to defeat Crystal Tornado, correct? Yeah, we just gotta like slowly keep increasing the power. I thought it would go without saying given the size. The Bloom Pruner has to shift rocks the size of casserole dishes. So obviously it has to be pretty strong. Bez. Even then, Crystal Tornado is bigger still. It dwarfs me and Guoba, and it's even taller than you. <laughs> It's impossible. 
If we were talking, <laughs> oh, twice as strong as the last fight, I think I'd have a shot. Is it taller Ten than Ito? Ten times as strong, and we're already looking at losing most, if not all, of the time. About a thousand times stronger? Who am I kidding? It's hopeless. Are uh, you gonna believe? Uh. <laughs> when your tactics fail, you yeah, have the to flashback. Your point of view. <laughs> In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. With the power of flashbacks, we'll win. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. Of course, Gorbasan. This is what you've been trying to tell me all along. Uh-huh, sure. I gotta study mechanics. Then build a suit of armor for Crimson Staff that'll take his abilities to a whole new level. So what are, okay, so what are the actual rules for this game then? Because I just thought, oh yeah, you go into the wild, pick up a beetle, and just hope it's strong. But no, you can put armor on the thing now? What's next, you give it like a gun? <laughs> or maybe, heck, I, I could build a bigger, stronger mechanical Oni Kabuto, piloted by Crimson Staff under my direction. This whole spot is just going to be turned into fighting with mechs. <laughs> <sighs> An Oni Kabuto piloting a mechanical Oni Kabuto? Yeah. How do you expect to pull that off? Does that even still count as a beetle battle? I believe in Ito. Seeing the power of Bloom Pruner has made me realize something. There's a natural limit to Onikabuto's strength. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. People have tried to tell me this before. Shinobu, the Grandmaster, especially Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon. Admitting defeat is shameful, but not even trying to mix up your tactics one time? That's just plain stupid. Yeah, like you are. Wobasan has shown me a new path. Mechanically modified Oni Kabuto. Okay, now you need two versions of this spot. Natural Oni Kabutos and mechanical modified Oni Kabutos. Because this is going to get unfair very quick. With this new technique in my arsenal, size will be no obstacle to me and my valiant beetle warriors as we set out to beat Crystal Tornado once and for all. Uh-huh. Guoba seems mad. <laughs> Looks like Guoba's not too sure about all that. He looked pissed. Mechanics, huh? Hmm. I'd have to get my master to see if her friend would be willing to help. She's Did you say oh. expert? Whoops. Please, Guoba-san, Chef-sama, my savior. Introduce me. Uh-huh. Oh, Shinobu's here. Thinking of becoming the second Arataki gang member to study in Liyue, are you, boss? Hey, man, he's putting in the work. He's trying. Uh, Shinobu, when'd you get back? <laughs> Snuck up on him. Time's up. We spent our last mora on these boat tickets. No. If we don't get to the harbor pronto, they'll go to waste. All of our training gone to waste. But, but, but I... Give me a minute, okay? We're, we're, we're in the middle of an extremely important discussion here. Yeah, I heard. Is that going to be the next beetle event? <laughs> Mech beetles? I was actually very pleased to hear the suggestion of you doing some sort of studying coming out of your own mouth. Bro. I have some relevant experience, so I can write a little booklet to get you started. Hey. But unfortunately, studying in Liyue is very expensive. The Arataki Gang's typical expenditures are a drop in the ocean by comparison. So, what do you intend to do about it? Hey, we can fund this. I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing it. It'll be fine. I'll just... Uh, I'll work like a horse when I get back to Inazuma. Hmm. I know what I'm getting into here, all right? I got it all planned out in my head. It's not like I've never gotten paid work before. Soon as I get earning, we'll all have cash for the burning. <laughs> hey, he's got a passion. It's cute. And don't think for one second I'll be abandoning you or the rest of the Arataki gang, neither. I ain't the kind of head honcho that runs off to go study and leaves his gang behind. He's a good leader, in, a, in, in his own way. If we're gonna study, we do it as a team. Once I've got enough mora for everyone's tuition fees, the whole Arataki gang is coming to Liyue. Wait. We'll study together, learn some epic new skills together, <laughs> and come out the other side as the stronger, smarter, invincible Arataki gang. The gang's getting a whole upgrade. You're saying all of the right things. <laughs> uh, who are you and what have you done with Boss? Character development. <laughs> wow, Bullchucker. Those are some bold words. You better make sure you follow through. Yeah, Arataki Ito is a man of his word. <laughs> Of course, I, uh, I still need to iron out some deeds in terms of what kind of work I can get and how much I can break in per day, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, life. In that case, Oni King, I'll stay here in Liyue. Firstly, this will enable me to follow up with Chef Sama and discuss our study plans in detail. 
Do you have the money to stay here? <laughs> How much money do you have? Secondly, now that word of the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp has begun to spread, I'll be able to scout for talented warriors and continue optimizing the Onikabuto training diet. Yeah, just make sure you don't get hit by lightning. That would uh, that would be a way to go out. Also, if the Oni King's right hand and sky cleaving white iron lavender melon wish to continue battling or analyze the battle so far, I'll be here to support them. Fez? Awesome. Good thinking, Grandmaster. Okay, standard procedure applies. I'll let your grandpops know what you're up to so we won't worry about you. Yeah, we just let your kids stay in another region, you know, <laughs> no big deal. I'm pretty sure he has no money either, so, you know, things are bound to go well. <laughs> Man, I am so pumped to see what you'll have for us next time I see you. I do need to make one thing clear, though. I can't promise that we'll be able to talk an Adeptus into taking you on as students. Yenvi and I will do our best, but we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> the great master of whom you speak boasts a skill others can only dream of. Their pride and prestige don't phase us. The important thing is that I, on behalf of the Oni King and the Arataki Gang, can find a way to show them we're serious and sincere in our quest to master the mechanical arts. I mean, Cloud Retainer might be down. I'm pretty sure that's who they're talking about. So I'll need to do some research to find out what kind of gift we should offer if we're to be seen as worthy of learning the mysteries behind the manufacturer of the Bloom Pruner. I'm pretty sure it's food, if I recall correctly. Boss, we gotta leave right now or we're not gonna make it in time. Go. <sighs> All right. I guess this is it. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, Yenfei Senpai, Miss Shengling, Guoba. You've all been a huge help to boss with this beetle battle event. I really can't thank you enough. To be honest, I'm quite intrigued into what they're going to do for the next beetle event. Mech beetles sound kind of hyped. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. I hope you can find some use for it in your future endeavors. What is it? Wow, you got us a gift! Thanks, Shinobu. You're so thoughtful. Hey, freebies for the win. The time has come. Adios, compadre. See you, sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. <laughs> Goodbye, Guobasan and Chef Sama. And farewell, my savior. Truly really heart wrenching. I'll be back real soon. I promise. We'll meet again. La, 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 la. So adorable, dude. Tucker. Whoa, Paimon. Stop squishing his dreams. It's good to have ambitions, but don't let yourself get carried away in the heat of the moment. Do what Shinobu tells you. Be realistic about what you can achieve and make sure you pace yourself. Alright, fair enough. But of course, if everything works out, Paimon can't wait to see Crimson Staff driving a ginormous mechanical Onikaba till the next time we meet. <laughs> yeah, if we don't get that, I'm going to be hugely disappointed. No, he's watching all along. He's planning. It's so dramatic. <laughs> he's like, what the hell are they talking about, man? <laughs> Alright, and that sums up the Arutaki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's always enjoyable seeing Ito in any type of event. His character is very enjoyable. I love his voice actor as well. But the Beetle event is always a bit of fun to have. Uh, again, I do have high expectations for the next one, mainly because, you know, we've got mech beetles. If it doesn't live up to that hype, I'm going to be disappointed. So if you don't want to miss any future reactions to Genshin Impact content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you then.